What is up, YouTube? It's your homeboy, Josh. For today, we're going to be talking about Agoda and Booking.com and in the use case of a host. Like, it could be possible that you are a hotel manager or even a hotel owner. So, this video is made for you guys. So, let's get into it. So, just a short introduction. Agoda right here is an Asia-based OTA that has grown rapidly since its inception in 2005. So basically, it's now part of the Booking Holdings Group, which also owns Booking.com. So basically, they're under one umbrella. So Agoda primarily focuses on the Asian market, but offers listings worldwide with over 2 million properties available. The platform caters to various types of accommodations, including hotels, hostels, vacation rentals, and guest houses. On the other hand, right here, just a sister of Agoda, we have Booking.com. So it's one of the largest online travel agencies or online travel or OTAs rather globally. So they are founded in the Netherlands in 1996. The platform boasts over 28 million listings so that's 28 million that's a lot including hotels hostels vacation rentals and other accommodation types booking.com has a strong presence in europe but offers properties in every corner of the world catering to a diverse range of travelers so basically if you're a host you really want to go down to the pros and cons no worries i got you covered First, what would be the benefits of Agoda.com? So they have a strong presence in the Asian market. Yeah. So they offer a, a best price guarantee to attract price conscious travelers, which is good for your business since, you know, that's that's one of the ways you can market your product, right? Like your services, your hotels, or the, the benefits that um, your place or your property can give. So Agoda.com offers, uh, also offers a loyalty program, Agoda Cash, allowing guests to earn rewards for future bookings. On Booking.com, they have a massive global reach, again, because they have in, been in the game for 1996, and that is a really long time. The next is extensive range of property types catering to various travel preferences. So if ever that you don't own a hotel, you only have a hostel or a guest house or vacation rentals, you, they've got you covered. I will actually, Agoda has that too. Now, customizable promotions and deals to help hotels attract more guests. Also, a marketing strategy offered by Booking.com is this one. So they, uh, your guests could customize promotions. I mean, they have yeah, customizable promotions and deals so that you know it's a, a marketing boost for you. Now, for the pricing, starting with Booking.com, commission rates generally fall between 15 and 20%, varying based on the property type and location, provides a user-friendly extranet for hoteliers, and manage their listings, monitor performance, and set pricing strategies for you. So, basically, they take um, some tasks out of your hand when it comes to this, and they charge somewhere 15% and 20%. While Agoda.com typically range between 15 and 25, that's 5% higher, depending on the property and location, offers a partner hub for hoteliers to manage their listings, set pricing strategies, and access performance insights. So, with um, the pros and cons, Agoda. For Agoda, the biggest pro that they have is strong focus on the Asian market, attractive loyalty program and competitive pricing strategies and the cons for them would be smaller global reach compared to booking.com and potentially higher commission rates which is yeah a five percent higher commission rate possibly higher uh because again it depends on the property type and the location and uh with regards to the smaller global reach versus uh, booking.com it's because they focus on the asian market so for Booking.com, the pros is, I mean, the biggest pro is massive global audience, extensive range of property types, and customizable promotions. And for the cons, commission rates may be higher than some competitors, and the platform is less focused on the Asian market. So basically, it's just some, um, 
it's uh, those are very specific things because uh, booking.com is uh, more versatile when it comes to to uh the audience for for the guest while for the cons it is mentioned that commission rates may be higher than some competitors because basically there are a lot of online travel agencies out there which you know have different offers they also have their own pros and cons and booking.com is a bit more focused globally they don't have a really you know a single focus just like agoda so that's all that you need to know actually and if you're deciding if you're gonna go for agoda or booking.com basically you just want to look again or look back to the pros and cons to the pricing to the um, services that they offer and then you gotta align those with your personal factors just like your preferences your property type your location your business strategy your business plan for your hotel hostel vacation rental or whatever property that you're gonna rent out to guests so that um whichever of these two has a lot more green flags for you that's the platform that you should go for so that moving on with your business you will not have or let's just say you will have lesser challenges along the way so basically that's how you decide between choosing agoda and booking.com this is your homeboy josh thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like and share this video and also kindly hit that subscribe and notification bell at the bottom for more videos like this. I'm going to see you on the next one.